Hello everyone and welcome back to this channel. My name is Nemo. Happy New Year and welcome to 2023. Um, I literally holding this microphone in my hand uh, as you may or may not notice. I'm in my new flat, new place, new location and I have no place to put this microphone on. Anyway, in this video I'm going to uh, share my experience how I connect my electric guitar to uh, Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 and then to my uh, computer which is a MacBook. So stay tuned. So first of all we need to connect um, the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 to your PC or your Mac. And then I need to connect uh, the guitar cable to my guitar on this side. And then before I connect my uh, guitar cable to Focusrite Scarlett 2i2, I just need to push um, this button here. And as I explained before in another video, um, we need to do that when we connect instruments like um, classic guitar, acoustic guitar, um, electric guitar or bass guitar to Focusrite Scarlett 2i2, we need to push this bottom, um, otherwise it is defined as a line. And we're good to go. I just need to um, volume up on my guitar and then test the signal on Focusrite. My guitar is not tuned. <laughs> But you can see now there is a good signal on Focusrite. So this is a method one. And the only challenge is that, that you have the very, very clean sound of the guitar. And to be able to have the other effects and distortion in your guitar, you need to download it um, on your DAW or any software that you use on your computer to be able to make the sound of the real electric guitar. To avoid this, I use another method which I'm going to explain to you now. Uh, I believe the vast majority of uh, um, electric guitar players have tendency to connect their electric guitar to um, different bunch of effects and pedals such as distortion or fuzz or coarse or flanger and so on uh, to produce different kind of sounds um, which is basically their taste of uh, electric guitar and their music and we know them with this kind of uh, sounds that they produce with their electric guitar and these pedals such as Eric Clapton or David Gilmore it's almost like their signature I simply use a um, guitar multiple effects um, um, and I purchased um, almost one or two years ago this beautiful and effective Boss M-E-A-T. So the second method that I'm going to share with you, I need simply to turn it on. Uh, 
and zoom out. So now we are in uh, method two. And first thing um, I need to do is to connect my guitar uh, to Boss ME80. Um, as you can see, the guitar input is here. Then, um, and I hope you remember this cable, which I showed you before in another video. I put the link um, for you up. And this is a TRS or simply a trio a type of the cable, which I can now connect to uh, bus MEAT on um, this side. So basically this is left. And this is right. Now we're looking at front panel of Focusrite Scarlett Y2 and I just uh, put the uh, left output to uh, from MBUS MEAT to um, input number one or line number one on Scarlett Y2. Now I'm going to uh, check the signal and before that I need to explain again that you don't need to push any button because now uh, the behavior of this um, multiple effects is um, just like the keyboard or synthesizer and uh, it's something digital so it's working just like uh, a line So I check the both sides. And just to be sure, or just to be careful, I need to check uh, my overdrive and the other effects. So maybe I um, need a less signal or volume uh, if I'm going to use these effects. Yeah, as you can see, it turned uh, yellow, which means it's too much. So I bring it down with reverb and compress, and maybe a little bit delay. Now you can see it's turned red. So even less. I think we're good to go now.